Shalom and good day here on the first day on Sunday here for the month of Gregorian speaking, February. I don't know what it is biblically yet because I'm not really um, gifted in that area. But for right now, I know it's the first day because yesterday was Shabbat. Um, got a lot going on here at Zephy's Homestead and um, I'm going to reveal those things in time. But for now, I want to give you a little bit of a tour of some of the things that we've been doing here on the homestead that um, just make my heart very happy. And yes, I've got my Hawaii <laughs> apron on. Um, it's a cloudy day once again here up north. And um, got to have something that reminds me of sunshine, right? Anyways, I'm going to show you guys what we're actually doing and some of the things that we've been doing. Um, I guess building and so forth, and uh, give you a little bit of a grand tour here at Zephy's Homestead. As you can see, it's a gloomy, cold, still in winter season here at the cabin. We've got our fireplace going rather nicely, and I've got my starters every year. I start them here uh, January ish. And I put them near the stove. I've got no heating pad and I've got no sunlight that is artificial that I attach to this uh, metro rack, as we call it. I've only got the sunshine that's from outdoors that the Father faithfully gives. There's my beautiful aloe vera plants. And the warmth from this stove, let me direct this guy more this way there we go so they're doing quite nice i'm not too sure what i'm gonna plant here yet a little slow start this year but that's okay it'll happen when it happens all right let's go take a tour here first i'm going to show you what my husband built if you haven't seen it yet i've been always wanting a herb rack isn't that beautiful so all this wood came from our cabin. If you go on my Instagram, uh, Zephy's Homestead, you can see some of the wood and how we actually finished it. And then he bought these beautiful, um, I don't know what they're called, holders, I guess. They're, I think they're cast iron. And I have all my jars all there. I got to get more labels, but for now it's a beautiful addition to my little cabin. I put our Berkey water there because it makes it much easier to go from the kitchen to the Berkey to fill up. But here is what we've got going. So this is our propane stove. We do use it. Also the wood stove that I showed you guys over there with the plants. These burners unfortunately are not working. So these three are out. We've only got the one going. And that pot right there is brewing some beautiful, beautiful turkey broth Ugh. you could just smell the aroma in my house beautiful i've done videos in the past where i've showed you guys how we make bone broth this is the last day this is the third day that um the broth has been simmering um during the night it's on the wood stove and then during the day i put it here on my propane stove so i can watch the fire and um, keep it at a steady, steady simmering. So that's pretty cool. Yeah, so bone broth. After two nights on the wood stove, getting up a lot, making sure we had firewood to put in the stove because you got to keep it rolling, right? And the firewood dies down and then your broth gets kind of like a standstill and that's not good. And then uh, three days on the propane stove where the fire is just at a small simmer and I can keep it um, simmering until it's done, which today it should be done. And then I let it cool down a bit and then I put it outside because it's like 30 degrees right now. Stay cold and then the tallow or the, the fat from the turkey will um, settle on top. And then by the night, it'll stay all night long there outside because it's cold. It's like a refrigerator outdoors. And then come Tuesday, Monday morning, because today is Sunday, first day, um, I'll bring it in the house and I will section off in jars. Um, found some really cool BPA-free plastic um, food grade um, 
a Ziploc baggies at, um, at a store. So I think I might get a couple more of those. If not, I'll put them in just jars and we blow through bone broth around here so quickly. So three days of work, um, uh, and it's eaten so quickly. It's like, oh my gosh, we try to save what we can, but honestly with our family here, we just don't, we're not able to. So there's been some make, neat things happening with my herbal um, shelves that my husband and my daughter made and then bone broth roll in the house smells and looks lovely. Very, very blessed, very grateful. And uh, yeah, today we have co-op pickup. So I'm going to be going down to um, Deep Creek Farm Stand, which is around our area and um, uh, sending off poultry that we ordered. Um, a few months back with our group for New Beginnings Co-op. And then the rest of the day, you know, do the chores around the house. And then I got chicken coop stuff to take care of and all those wonderful things that require um, my time. And so I bid you a lovely afternoon. I hope you have a great day and I look forward to seeing you guys again. I'll be sharing some personal videos in time. And if you could please like and subscribe down below, I'd really appreciate it. That keeps these videos going and hoping to do them weekly again. I know it's been about a month. It's been a long time, um, but life just happens and um, I didn't make it a priority. Hopefully we'll get back making Sunday videos again and loading them on Sunday. So thank you so much for joining us here at Zephy's Homestead. You have an amazing, amazing afternoon. Stay warm and um, I bid you shalom.